let me walk you through the setup process of the UFI floodlight security camera. Let's do a quick unboxing and show you what's in the box. Existing wiring and junction box is required. The floodlight LED panels can be adjusted by losing these two knobs. I made a mistake here. You're not supposed to remove the film before the installation because the LED light can be extremely bright. Everything included, the mounting hardware, quick user guide, and uh, the stickers. According to the user manual, we can charge it up using this included micro USB cable without having to use the AC power. Let's take a look at the charging current. And this side can be opened like so, the mounting. Okay, it is working. And that camera is rotating slowly. Getting uh, about half a watt. Very power efficient. You can use it indoor, but uh, this won't work unless AC is powered, but you can still use the camera when plugged in and it's super power efficient. Let me go to the app and add this device, Floodlight Cam Pro, QR code scanning. We're gonna expose it on this side and use my camera to aim at the QR code, done. Okay, plug in the USB cable indoor and then go outside to install it. Oh, I'm not supposed to peel off the floodlight protection film during installation to avoid blinding my eyes. It's going to be super bright, so I'm going to cover these panels when doing the installation. Power on the camera. Is it flushing red? Yes, it is flushing red. Press the sync button until you hear the beep. Press the sync button. Okay, I hear the beep. Flushing blue, connecting to the camera. It is actually pretty straightforward. Okay, Wi-Fi password. It says connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Please wait. Setup was successful. I'm going to do garage. I'm going to record my screen. I was prompt to update the firmware as soon as I connect to the camera for the first time. This is the guided installation instructions in the iPad. You may pause and read the instructions. It is now up and running. Just like the pan and tilt, this thing would rotate and um, the power consumption is super low again at only uh, one watt. Awesome. 